Hello everyone, this is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to my channel. After a very long time, which means a couple of months in AI, I have come across this groundbreaking paper and in this video, I am going to tell you in very simple words why I think that this newly released Meta's research which is Byte Latent Transformer is a deal breaker and why I think that this is going to be big very very soon. Meta AI's Byte Latent Transformer or BLT is a new AI model or framework that skips tokenization entirely. It works directly with raw bytes. This allows this model to handle any language or data format without predefined vocabularies, making it highly adaptable. It is also quite memory efficient and scales better due to its compact design. So let's start with what exactly is a tokenization or tokenizer and then we will see what is the limitation of that tokenizer and why this BLT makes it really groundbreaking. So first and foremost, a tokenizer is a component that splits text into individual words or tokens. Tokenizers are commonly used in these AI models and machine learning applications such as language translation and text classification and generative AI applications. Tokenizers work by using a set of predefined rules to split text into tokens. These rules can be based on spaces, punctuation or other special characters. For example, the sentence hello world would be tokenized into two tokens, hello and world. Now, there are few limitations of these tokenizers. First and foremost, these tokenizers are often designed for specific language or character sets. This can limit their ability to handle text from other languages or cultures. Tokenizers can be sensitive to noise or errors in the input text. This can cause them to produce incorrect or incomplete tokens. Tokenizers often rely on predefined vocabularies to hand out vocabulary words. This can limit their ability to handle new or unusual words. Tokenizers can also require significant compute resources to process large amount of text. This can be inefficient, especially when working with large data set. Tokenizers often lack contextual understandings of the text they are processing. Now, this is where we have this BLT. If you look at the architectural diagram of this BLT, first and foremost, as I said, it's a new model by Meta. It is designed to work directly with raw bytes of data without the need for tokenization. BLT uses a dynamic and learnable method to produce bytes into patches. It then uses a combination of small local models and a large global model to process these patches. This approach allows BLT to dynamically allocate compute resources when they are needed most. BLT is designed to overcome the limitation of tokenization by working directly with raw bytes of data and it can handle any language or character set without the need for language specific tokenizers and that is why I believe this could be the next big thing. And BLT can handle noisy or erroneous input data more effectively than tokenizers. BLT can handle out of vocabulary words more effectively than tokenizer by learning to represent them as combinations of patch, bytes or patches. BLT can use compute resources more efficiently and it can gain a deeper understanding of context by working directly with raw bytes of data rather than relying on predefined tokens. So there are a lot of other advantages which I could go on and on. For example, if you look at this diagram, you can see that BLT is comprising of three modules as I mentioned earlier. First is a lightweight local encoder that encodes input bytes into patches representation, which is a computationally expensive latent transformer over patch representation. And then there is a lightweight local decoder to decode in the next patch of bytes. BLT incorporates byte and gram embeddings and a cross attention mechanism to maximize information flow between the latent transformer and the byte level modules. Unlike fixed vocabulary tokenization, BLT dynamically groups byte into patches preserving access to byte level information and that is what is happening here. So I hope that you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think about this byte latent transformer. I think this could be uh, incorporated in various models very very soon and this is really the way to go because 
It also makes multimodality easy since you can just represent any data or file in bytes and also there are lot and lot of data which is enclosed in different types of file. So the only thing which I'm worried about bit is that the, the context size might be huge for these models but hopefully there could be some dynamic or sliding context window which we could use in order to overcome this limitation of BLD. So that's it. I hope that you liked it. Let me know what do you think. If you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. If you're already subscribed, please share it among your network as it helps a lot. Thank you.